This EMS demonstration tape gives some idea of the vast range of creative expression obtainable from EMS synthy equipment. Needless to say, the repertoire of music produced on EMS equipment is increasing all the time, as more and more composers and artists discover the versatility of these instruments. First, a series of extracts from concert pieces, either wholly electronic or using some normal instruments or voices as well. The opening extract is from Harrison Bertwistle's Medusa. Now an extract from January Tensions by Peter Zinoviev. The next item comes from Tristram Carey's score for Leviathan 99.
Here is part of another piece by Tristram Carey, Continuum. Delia Derbyshire here interprets Kepler's Music of the Spheres, in which each planet of the solar system is designated its own music. George Whitman was a notable microtonal composer, and Cynthia equipment is ideal for realising microtones accurately. Here is one of his three Czech poems for voice, violin, and Cynthia VCS3. Then 
in the mulberries of hope, the faintest sign of movement in a branch. In leafy groves, entangled love, in silken threads of silent speech, they spun their words. So we be not bare when we emerge into the light. Now for some music, mainly in a lighter vein. The majority of these pieces were written for television or radio, and the first two, by Dudley Simpson, were created for the BBC's Doctor Who series. This one is Dover Castle. <laughs> The second piece by Dudley Simpson is The Axon's Approach. Delia Derbyshire contributes the next item, a dance from Noah. <laughs> The following extract is from Malcolm Clark's Waltz for a Displaced Saint. <laughs> Now two pieces from David Forhouse. The first is called Canon. Thank you. 
and the second is entitled Thing for Two VCS Threes. The next demonstration is of a classical piece transformed by the Musis program used by the EMS Computer Studio in Putney. We give this in full because it illustrates the ability of the program to deliver a whole piece without tape editing. The recording was made directly from the studio output and no further manipulation was needed. The original Haydn is transformed by a series of instructions to the computer. Peter Zinoviev's A Lollipop for Papa.
So far, our extracts have been of musical items, but synthy equipment is also extremely versatile at making sound effects. This seascape is by Brian Hodgson. Finally, here is part of a science fiction battle created by Malcolm Clark for the BBC. It is from the War of the Worlds. All the foregoing demonstrations were realised with EMS synthy equipment, and it doesn't even follow that the most elaborate sounds came from the most expensive models. In fact, the majority of the examples used the synthy VCS3 simply because this has been available for longer than our other products. To learn more about the EMS range, write to Electronic Music Studios, London Limited, 49 Deodar Road, D E O D A R Road. London, SW15, or phone Great Britain, 01-874-2363. We assure you won't regret it.